वेलकम टू दीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज ऑफ डिजिटल इमेज प्रोसेसिंग टूडेज टॉपिक इज लॉसी प्रेडिक्टिव कोडिंग लेट मी रिमाइंड यू दैट इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर्स यू हैव स्टडीड अबाउट वॉट इज इमेज कंप्रेशन हाउ मेनी टाइप्स ऑफ इमेज कंप्रेशन एग्जिस्ट विच इज एक्चुअली टू टाइप्स लॉसलेस इमेज कंप्रेशन एंड लॉसी इमेज कंप्रेशन सो टूडे यू आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट लॉसी इमेज कंप्रेशन टेक्निक विच इज प्रेडिक्टिव कोडिंग लेट इज बिगिन लॉसी कंप्रेशन एल्गोरिथम्स इनकर अ लॉस ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन मीन्स देयर इज सर्टेन लॉस ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन इन केस ऑफ लॉसी इमेज कंप्रेशन एंड दिस लॉस ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन इज नोन एज डिस्टॉर्शन so here the data which is lost during the image compression if that particular data is acceptable means if it is tolerable that is not going to impact the overall quality some of the information may be lost but overall quality may not be deteriorated so can be accepted and can be utilized in certain applications in case of lossy compression algorithms compression ratio is usually very large see we have discussed about the lossless image compression also you have seen in various like uh, coding techniques algorithm huffman shannon fano bit plane arithmetic coding and uh, lossless predictive coding as well so some you have find that compression ratio is quite small but in case of lossy codings lossy compression algorithms and if we talk about lossy predictive coding this compression ratio is usually large so lossy predictive coding this is an extension of the idea of lossless predictive coding see you must remember this point this is the extension of the idea of lossless predictive coding we have discussed a question over there like certain set of pixels have been given and then you have done the like predictive coding and accordingly you have calculated how many bits are required to code that and depending upon if there is a problem of overloading so immediately number of bits required will be increased so how to make a like balance between that moving ahead let us consider set of pixels see here you can see that six pixels have been taken now let us discuss the lossy predictive coding so first you have to plot a table with the values and their predictive coding see in one column all the values have been taken while in the other column predictive coding have been like plotted over here so you can see in this particular case see this second case 64 minus 23 you are getting 41 so here 41 crosses see in the case of predictive coding you can see maximum 5 bits are required to code it let me write it maximum 5 bits are required here but this creates a problem of overloading it means if you code this 41 how many bits are required 6 bits plus one additional sign bits means 7 bits and 6 pixels into 7 bits for each means you will be requiring 42 bits so that is the problem so here as i have told you maximum 5 bits are required to code all the pixels besides 41 plus 1 sign bit it means total you are getting 6 bits but this is for how many pixels this is for only all these 5 pixels 1 2 3 4 5 so what happens in case of lossy predictive coding here instead of taking precautions the highest value for 5 bits that is 
थर्टी वन कैन बी यूज हाइएस्ट वैल्यू फॉर फाइव बिट्स विल बी वॉट दिस इज नथिंग बट थर्टी वन वैल्यू कैन बी यूज एंड इफ थर्टी वन वैल्यू इज बींग ट्रांसमिटेड मीन्स इट ड्रास्टिकली रिड्यूसेज द नंबर ऑफ बिट्स इट ड्रास्टिकली reduces number of bits however loss of information will increase means if you are transmitting 31 besides 41 so loss of information will loss of information increases it means here number of bits which is used to transmit is same as the original scheme but besides 41 what is being transmitted 31 is being transmitted over here and this leads to the error and this loss of information creates a error which results in lossy compression scheme it means this scheme now requires how many bits it requires 6 pixels into 6 bits for each total 36 bits but you must note down this point that besides transmitting 41 it is now transmitting 31 so certain loss of information exists over there so this is about the predictive coding which is in the lossy manner now this is a very important point you can note it down this process can be extended further by using only one bit to encode the difference between the adjacent pixel and this scheme is known as delta modulation so delta modulation is what it goes one step further by using only one bit for the representation of the quantized error value it means this can be positive or negative this can be positive or negative therefore predictor is defined as predictor is defined as how it can be written f cap which is equal to alpha into f of n minus 1 here alpha is the prediction coefficient here alpha is the prediction coefficient see more generally for the first digit let me write it generally for the first digit what is f cap f cap is equal to f of n minus 1 cap so this is how you can write it and then error is computed so how error is computed it is written as en which is equal to fn minus fn cap or you can write this as fn minus f of n minus 1 cap and the error is quantized as error
is quantized as e n this is what this is plus psi for all values of e n greater than 0 and this is minus psi otherwise and here psi is the positive quantity and this type of scheme creates problem if there is a significant transition in a data which are encountered very frequently and when this particular value when this particular term varies when this varies it is known as adaptive delta modulation scheme this is known as adaptive delta modulation scheme so this is how you can explain the lossy predictive coding Topic for the next video lecture is Vector Quantization. Thank you so much for watching this video.